what is going on my fine my divine feminine it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what is the energy surrounding you for april 2019 yes yes indeed so shout out to all my new subscribers thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion reds tarot you can do so by clicking that about tab all right there's a hyperlink down there and it says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again that is scorpion reds tarot at simply book me okay and if you want to give a love donation as you can see this tower has climbed and climbed and climbed up this wall here because of your constant love and support to the pages made it possible for me to continue to put the love back into the page so that you can guys can have a lot of flavor here like a lifesaver you know what I'm saying I'm trying to put some flavor in your ear I'm trying to put some flavor okay I'm sorry I'm sorry y'all know I'll be tripping anyway 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 okay so listen you guys let's find out what's going on for April let's get into the prayer Father God, thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you so much for this new moon phase, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say with an exhale. <sighs> thank you. All right. Come on, Father. Spur fingers. Spur fingers. Come on, Father. Listen. Listen to me. Father, we are here rejoicing. We are here celebrating. A lot of us don't even know why I'm saying this, but you're going to figure out why. As the year goes by, Father, we thank you so, 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 so very much. The ones why I'm saying thank you, y'all know why I'm saying thank you. We are thanking you so, so very much for everything. Everything. The good, the bad, everything. Because if those things did not exist in our life, it would have not, we would not be where we at today. And that's all I'm going to say. And we just going to say thank you. And a lot of us are realizing now that situations that we were scorned or once bitter about, we're starting to look at it with a different set of eyes and saying thank you. And honestly saying, Father God, thank you for sparing me. Ladies, can y'all say it with me? Thank you for sparing me. A lot of y'all people were sitting here crying months ago, wondering why this person don't love you and woo, 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 woe is me. And like I said, for the ones that don't know or hasn't shown why you should be thanking God and exhaling and realizing that you were spared, if you don't know, you will know. And for the ones that do know, okay, say it with me. Father God, thank you for sparing me. In the name of Jesus, amen. And that's all we need to dang say. That's all we about to listen. That's all the prayer is about to be. Father God, thank you for sparing me, okay? And if y'all don't know why I'm saying that, y'all should skip y'all ass on over to Divine Masculine Reading, honey. Oh, 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 boy. Because he got a, a nice little situation going over there. And I don't know if, 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 if y'all feel how I feel. But, um, and I'm going to give y'all some true tea. So y'all know how all of the readers have been saying that, you know, with the divine masculines, that they've got their, you know, the karmic pregnant. I just found out, and I don't know about nobody else's situation, but in my situation, I just found out that that was true. Not only has that been coming out in the divine masculine readings and in other signs, um, in particular readings in my readings that I do for people, the readers that I've watched been saying this, you understand? So like I said, it's like some universal collective energy and I don't know what type of fucked up shit this been brewing for so many people to be going through this, but ladies, understand, because a while ago, okay, a while ago, I was that girl that wanted to be pregnant. I wanted to have his baby so bad. I, you know, and sometimes you don't understand. Like, you ever apply for a job and you wanted that job so bad. And it don't matter what you do, how you step your credentials up or whatever. It just, you know, you just seemed like you thought, it, you know, you wasn't good enough for this job. 
you know, and you was beating yourself down, tearing yourself down about it, you know, and later on, you found out that there was some Enron shit going on in that motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? So, so hindsight is 2020. While you were sitting up there beating yourself down, trying to ask God, why won't they accept me? Why can't I get this job? You had no idea God was sparing you because your ass could have been in jail right now. Okay? On everything. So sometimes you might not be able to see why God spared you from that situation. You might not be able to understand why God spared you from that situation. Because I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I was so in love with this person. Now, I don't mean to go on a tangent about my personal situation. But I am telling y'all this because I feel like a lot of y'all can learn from what I experienced. And directly because... It, 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 it's scary when you hear these readings and you see, you really see it in your life. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times, like, I just be like, I just listen to it for guidance and stuff. But when shit start happening and you like, man, they said that shit. Man, what? Like, and you see in it, you realize this shit is real. I've already know what I do is real. That's why I do what I do. And that's why I help y'all the way that I help you. But just sometimes... When it hits you, it hits you. And when it gets you, it gets you. And God, you got me. And I will never in my life question you. I will never in my life question my intuition. Ladies, when y'all be in these situations with these men and y'all be feeling sick to y'all stomach with anxiety and y'all stomach is riddled because you feel like something ain't right and this, this and that. Listen to me. Y'all better trust y'all fucking guts on this situation. Okay? I will never question God no more. And I'm not going to take this the wrong way. But I would rather be me than be that bitch. Because even though I love him, it was certain shit about him that I knew. If I would have had a baby by this man, I'd have probably ended up a single mother. Or I'd have went through the whole pregnancy miserable because this nigga was out there cheating on me. And I'm sitting over here with this man's baby in my belly. And my child is feeling all that stress and all that pain and all that hurt and all that sadness. I would not wish that shit on nobody. I don't give a fuck if it's the karmic. And I honestly feel bad for the girl. I I do, but I don't. You see what I'm saying? But from a moral sense as a woman, I would not wish nobody to go through a pregnancy and a man is running around cheating on them. and you Or stuck on some shit in the past and... Listen, I'm not even going to go into all the tea and, and the meat and the potatoes about my situation. But only thing I'm just coming here to let y'all know is that this shit that we are trying to help y'all with is real. You have to understand that we all have free will to decide. Once we know the situation, once we know, and you can, you know what resonates with you and what doesn't when you hear these readings. You have the opportunity to decide. You have free will. God ain't going to come down and literally lift your ass up and make you move and make you do it. You understand? I thank God for my intuition and for my bravery. Because like I said, take a weak bitch. Them, I ain't going nowhere type of bitches. Y'all hoes is stupid. So I'm telling y'all right now, if y'all on my page and y'all one of them, I ain't going nowhere type of bitches. Or you sitting around waiting around for a man to come back to you that done dogged your ass because you call them your twin flames. Please get the fuck off my page. Because that ain't the energy that we got around here. We warriors around here. We empresses around here. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am not going to stay there and I'm not going to lay and let someone disrespect me. Oh, cause the twin flame. Oh, my twin flame. He's the runner. He can run his ass the fuck on somewhere. Cause bitch, I'm Jackie Joyner. Cursey. I'm going the other way to success and happiness. I will not do it. And I won't advise y'all to do it. Cause guess what? That nigga ran and ran and ran and ran. And he done ran and got another bitch pregnant. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I wouldn't have loved myself enough, ladies, understand me. If I wouldn't have loved myself enough. And look at my Oshun statue every day and say, you know what? I am beautiful. I am an empress. I am a goddess. I got to be able to look at myself in the mirror every day. I got to be able to look at my daughter every day. And pray that she sees the reflection that God sees in me. I will not lessen. I will not disrespect myself. I will not dishonor myself by 
running behind someone who is running from me. And if you are one of them type of women, please exit and unsubscribe the fuck off my page. We need empresses, queens, strong warrior women who is teaching their daughters, who is watching them, self-love and abundance. That ain't teaching your children, your daughter or your son, self-love and abundance. You chasing around some nigga like a chicken with your head cut off while he running around spreading his seed all around the goddamn city having babies. I am so glad that I look at my statues and I look and I sit here and I pray every fucking day for strength, for encouragement and wisdom. And self-love. Because if I can't love myself. And if I don't teach the universe how to love myself. How to, how is the, how is God or whoever your higher power that you pray to. Is going to bring you someone who is going to truly love and respect you. If you don't love yourself enough to stop chasing around someone who don't want you. And who don't. Who treats you like shit. If them motherfuckers want that shit let them have it. Guess what that nigga have it now and he's miserable. That's what you wanted, right? Let me help you. And let me go find happiness. If I would have not healed myself, ladies, and we're going to get to the reading, but if I would have not healed myself, me finding out that this nigga, now mind you, all of this shit that they were saying in the readings and all that stuff like that about um, divine masculine possibly cheating with somebody that he worked with, that was my situation too. All of this shit that they've been saying to the fucking T has been my situation. I applied for that job for him. He wouldn't even be working there if it wasn't for me. Cheated on me with a co-worker. Disrespected me. And now the bitch is pregnant. If I would have not loved myself enough to heal myself, me finding about that shit would have fucking crushed me. Do you understand? But I love myself too much to even vibrate. I don't give a fuck about that. That bitch took my light weight off. She took my pain from me. Thank you. That's why I'm saying, ladies, you have to get to a point where you thank these people for what they did. Because otherwise, you'd have still been stuck in that situation. You took my pain and you wanted it so bad bitch you wanted my pain so fucking bad you got it forever forever ever forever ever so don't question what god's doing in your life don't question how god is moving if he moving shit let him move it when y'all see them tower cards some kind of unexpected what is it because if it need to go let it go Y'all have to embrace change. Don't be scared of that shit. God knows what he's doing. He always knows what he's doing and he spared you. Y'all ladies watching this? He spared you. You have free will to decide if you're going to continue to chase and follow fuckery. If you're going to follow freedom. That's it. That's enough of my fucking... <laughs> but I had to tell y'all that. I had to tell y'all that because I don't want y'all think that the shit, how I be going hard on y'all in these videos, I'm going hard on y'all like that because I be having to go to fuck hard on me. That's how I talk to myself. That's how I got through this situation. Ain't nobody helped me through this shit but God. Ain't nobody been sitting here talking me through this shit. I've been sitting here crying my eyes out. A bitch won't cry no more tears. I stopped that shit in 2018. That's why when I told y'all bitches in 2019 to take over the wait is over, bitch. Everything that you need to see to make you, what I say, by autumn, by fall, everything gonna start falling into your lap. Ladies, do your fucking work. Do your fucking work. Do your work. And like my video said this morning, okay? Don't laugh at your enemies. You understand? Not, not even that they're they, they your enemies. Not even that they're your enemies. Because a lot of you are going to see, like I said, if you don't see it now, if you don't understand why I'm saying what I'm saying now, you will eventually understand why I'm saying God spared you. You will understand. Anyway, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm running my mouth too fucking much. Let me get into this, but I'm sorry. Like, I had to just crack that off on y'all. I had to crack. Because I don't want y'all to think I, I, I'm, I, 
first off, I'm a Scorpio. I am how I am. I talk how I talk. If y'all can't understand that or if y'all don't like it, then I, I don't feel any type of personal way about it. Y'all can unsubscribe. I'm not here for subscribers. I'm not here to make money. I'm here for happiness and healing, love and light and elevation. I would not tell y'all nothing that I, would, I, that I haven't been telling myself. This is not something that I am not experiencing and going through as well. And that's why I'm telling y'all sisters to be strong. Y'all are my sisters. Y'all are my fucking sisters. I am fighting with you. We are fighting together. And that's why I told y'all, if y'all see somebody in that comment section, that they, you can tell I was at her place last year. Let me give her some helpful advice and tell her what I went through to help me get to where I am right now. I still ain't out the woods, but I'm way better than I was um, a, a year before. Pay it forward. God going to bless you for it. That's why before I asked y'all, are y'all ready to help do God's work? Are y'all ready to help this world heal? All right. Companionship. When you fully and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. If that don't go right in, if that don't correlate with what the hell I was talking about, I don't know what else to say. Is God not talking to you? If I have to sacrifice myself on these internet streets, on these YouTube streets, as they say, and pour my heart out to y'all and tell y'all what I went through, what I'm experiencing, and, and I'm telling you, don't laugh at your enemy, because when I found out this shit, I laughed. I laughed so fucking hard, because guess what? I was already prepared for it, because this is what we've been doing. We... We've been looking for insight. We've been looking for answers. We've been looking for guidance. So because we do this type of work or that we look at, at these readings and stuff, we we're all God is preparing you. <laughs> Don't let nothing hurt your heart no more. Don't get that motherfucker no more your energy. If I would have not released that shit, if I would have not got to this place where I was fully embracing my aloneness and thanking these people for releasing me from that shit so I can be alone and work on myself and get where God want me to be so that he can heal me and put me in an atmosphere, in an arena with the people that are of my, my kind. Because those people are not my kind. They were cut from a different cloth from me. Because you got to understand when you're hurt, when you're hurt, sometimes you could just lower yourself to accept anything. That's why I'm telling you guys, go through your fucking healing. Stop giving these motherfuckers the power to make you cry. If you hear something that you, oh, well, you know, so-and-so is fucking so well. Be like, okay, and I hope the pussy was good. <laughs> okay. Tell them to put a mint on the pillow. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Most thing I care about is my karma. And that's why I said, even though it's laughable, because, bitch, that's what you wanted, right? So <laughs> what you miserable for. So whatever. Right? Don't come to back. Don't come. Why the fuck? Any person, if someone dog you out and left you, they get themselves in a fucked up situation and then want to come run back to you. If you take them back, you about as dumb as they are. Please unsubscribe for my game channel. Open up the door to newness. When you fully embrace your aloneness, you are ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. I keep telling y'all, a lot of y'all are holding on to a toxic ass energy, giving someone a title of a twin flame, and y'all are stabbing your own self in the foot so you can't walk forward. That is not your fucking divine masculine. And it's a disrespect almost to spit in his face for you to sit up there and say to some fool that is disrespecting you is walking in his image. 
And the more and more that you do that, the farther and farther that you pushing your true divine masculine away. Now, let me continue to go further. Because, honey, let me tell you something. I thank you, Father God, for sparing me. Please bring me the appropriate companionship in my life. Y'all better stop glorifying these fuck niggas. Calling them the goddamn twin flame. I don't know who wrote that bullshit that got y'all out there thinking this bullshit. That nigga need to be shot in his fucking head. Because y'all are tarnishing y'all fucking minds. Y'all are tarnishing y'all reputations with y'all family and y'all friends and people who love you. Think about how many people... It's... <sighs> I don't want to be mean. Think about how many people is probably looking at you saying this bitch is stupid right now. Count on your fingers how many friends and family that you lost chasing behind this nigga. Because they tired. They are tired. Y'all got to love yourself more. Y'all got to embrace love and being in the skin you in. You came in this world alone, you're going to die alone. You cannot look for fulfillment in someone else. The only person that should be able to fulfill you is God. If you can't be fulfilled within your own self in God, honey, Lord, you got to be whole. You can't look for your other half. I, I'm not looking for a half. I'm looking for a hole. I'm coming to you whole. I need you to be whole. Because if you're looking for someone to be your other half, they can easily tell you what the other part of you should look like. Can't nobody tell me what the fuck I look like, bitch. That's why I said love yourself. That way you find and you resonate and, and people come in your life that resonate with you. That is on your level. That love you fully for who you are. Y'all are on the same level. Like I said... The ones who are meant to be with you will be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing that it will open the way for healthy fucking relationships. When you're looking for somebody to fulfill you, you should. Hmm. 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 What is this saying? I'm sorry, y'all, because I really hope I'm sorry that I just went the fuck on a tangent. I really did. But this is the Princess of Pentacles. All right. So right now, um, right now, you, this is the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. You guys are looking to grow. Okay. She's, she, she's a young, she's a princess. You know, she's learning the responsibilities of her role and how to be a queen. And even her powers and her abilities and the fact that she can just go and stick her finger in the soil and just like magic a big stalk will just emerge and she can put her intentions into it and it can be anything that she wishes it to be like this is legitimately the stage that you're at right now you however do not understand the gifts and the powers that has been um anointed upon you at birth your forehead was anointed with a gift and a power to grow to create to nurture and I feel like right now, um, you have not been receiving the appropriate energy for you to make things thrive and grow the way that you should be. I don't feel like you thoroughly know how to use your gifts at this moment. So right now, I believe that you need to be focusing more on healing those broken pieces you know, mending those broken pieces, whatever is broken that needs to be fixed, you need to fix it. Okay? You need to fix it. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get your energy together, in order for something to grow, it has to have all of the correct elements. Sun, light, water, fertile soil. You see what I'm saying? And good intentions. Someone who is planting that seeds and putting intentions there for it to grow. So I really do feel like that you ladies need to get your energy. You need to fill your cup back up with self-love so that this soil can grow. So that you can truly use your magic and then eventually grow to be the queen of pentacles. Okay? You're still learning how to be a princess at this moment. You have a lot of gifts. It's time for you to nurture those gifts so that they can grow and that you can get 